What's up guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay, and holy cow am I seeing a lot of kennel cough right now. So it's October, or should I say cough-tober, here in Florida, and the weather is finally changing to be a little cooler here. And that's exactly when kennel cough loves to emerge. <laughs> So how cute is this little golden doodle puppy? And we wanna thank Pet Meds for sponsoring this video. All right guys, so kennel cough basically sounds like your dog is choking on something. They're retching, hacking, and sometimes vomit up white foam. And this is a classic sign for good old kennel cough. Some pet owners even make appointments because they're so convinced that something is stuck in their dog's throat and they want x-rays or something to check if there is actually something stuck in there because their dog is hacking and coughing so much. Kennel cough is extremely common in new eight to 10 week old puppies with weak immune systems, and also very common in young dogs that go to daycare and older dogs with weak immune systems too. And dogs or puppies who are stressed from traveling are also predisposed to getting kennel cough. Just that one hour drive to go pick them up from the breeder is enough excitement and stress to pave the way for getting kennel cough. The incubation period for kennel cough is two to 14 days. So it's really hard to tell where your dog picked it up. So you can't always blame the neighbor's dog next door. Kennel cough is also referred to as canine infectious tracheobronchitis because it affects the throat, trachea, lungs, and bronchioles. Kennel cough is an infectious disease caused by a number of different bacteria and viruses. The main bacteria being Bordetella bronchiseptica and viruses such as canine adenovirus and parainfluenza virus. These pathogens irritate the throat and lungs, causing that dry, uncontrollable cough and sometimes ending in a white foamy vomit. Kennel cough is a highly contagious disease but dogs with a strong immune system may clear it on their own. But this may take six weeks to six months and you have to endure that very frustrating coughing. But dogs that are taken to the veterinarian to get antibiotics and cough suppressants will stop coughing within three to five days and clear the infection within three weeks. So I really advise people to bring their dogs to the veterinarian if they suspect they have kennel cough. The reason you wanna treat kennel cough early is because they can develop life-threatening pneumonia. It will start out as a fever, they'll be lethargic, and even stop eating. So it's really important to bring your dog to the veterinarian so they can assess them and get them on some medication. From my experience treating kennel cough, I see life-threatening pneumonias in bulldogs and Great Danes, or large breed dogs that have very deep chests where they've waited too long to the point where severe pneumonia has developed. These dogs also get easily resistant to antibiotics and they become harder to treat. Some of these dogs need to be hospitalized on IV fluids and closely monitored to make sure they get through their kennel cough episode. So I want you to know that kennel cough is extremely common and most dogs and puppies are gonna get it once or twice in their lifetime. Kennel cough comes from group settings such as boarding or daycare, but they can also get it just from being in the environment because some dogs that are just at home that don't see any other dogs come in with kennel cough. All right guys, so if your puppy or dog is coughing violently right now, take them to the veterinarian and be proactive about their kennel cough. If you like this video and if it helped you, hit that like button. Also remember to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back here for some more videos.